You're watching Alaska's Weather Source. Well, this really is a week that many of us will not forget anytime soon. Uh, I hope a lot of you got the chance to get out there and play in it today. Look at this beautiful snowman. This was actually built last night before all of the snow today. You can see even looks like some snow accumulated on this guy here. Terrence Butler sharing this from East Anchorage. Uh, thank you for sharing that. Also, uh, more hazards than just the heavy snow. And look how deep it is here on the road. But yeah, we've got some moose uh, battling it out here right in the middle of the snow. And again, with that heavy snow, especially in higher elevations. We'll likely see more of them here in town in the coming days. Also, look at this situation. Uh, Sam Argood sharing this photo with us. You can see the snow wrapping around, holding together. A very wet, heavy, very packable snow. And so this is one scenario that can happen with that. Uh, but watch out for those roof avalanches. That's a real thing. It can be a real hazard. Uh, and also, watch out for avalanches in the backcountry. This has been a lot of snow, very unstable. Uh, we are going to see some dangerous conditions, especially in those higher elevations. But I want to see, did you get out? Did you get to play in it today? If so, share those photos and videos with me. Also, let me know your snowfall totals. You can do that right through our weather app. Uh, there's just a click of a button there at the bottom of the homepage uh, to send us your weather reports. Would love to see that. I think an officially 2.25.2 uh, inches here in Anchorage over the past five days, including that record snowfall that we had on Sunday. Record snowfall yesterday with nine inches and then another eight inches today. This is the most snow that we have recorded for the first two weeks of November ever. It's also the fourth highest season to date snowfall that we have seen with now 26.4 inches. And what's pretty remarkable about that is that all came in just three storms. One little one in October and these two here in November. The last time that we had this much snow fall uh, across just two days in November was back in 1960. So we don't see situations like this very often. Here's a look at those snowfall totals around South Central. 65 inches was the snowfall total there on the Richardson Highway through Thompson Pass. The pass was closed, and you can see why. Very heavy snow there. That's where we have uh, the state snowfall record as well. 36 inches in Girdwood. Some of that even coming down as rain here uh, earlier today. And then here in Anchorage, it was 17 officially out uh, near Ted Stevens, but as you head to the south side of town, 20 to 29 inches in those higher elevations, 18 inches in Eagle River, more than 25 in the higher elevations there, uh, and a foot plus across the valley today. Hopefully we'll get some more snowfall uh, totals from there later this evening. Right now, again, all of that snow has tapered off. Temperatures, though, they are below freezing, currently sitting at 31 degrees. So even though the snow has ended, those winds have calmed down. Again, we do have temperatures below freezing, and so we're going to see those icy conditions on the roadway. Also, we still have some scattered showers here across Prince William Sound, falling mostly as rain. Snow has now pushed into the interior as this one storm system really impacting most of the state, including high winds on the slope of blizzard warning in effect. Also, winter storm warnings for heavy blowing snow there. And then in western Alaska, we have winter storm watches in effect preparing for the next storm, which is going to hit western Alaska come this weekend. Look at these winds we've already seen today. Up to 72 miles per hour in Dead Horse. Also, we saw high winds with this storm in southeast, up to 68 miles per hour hour earlier today in Ketchikan. Now looking ahead, we're still going to see those scattered showers from the Brooks Range further to the north and here in South Central, another little area of low pressure moves in. That brings us more snow as we head overnight tonight and then again Friday night into Saturday. Be prepared for that. Then most of the state sees dry, calmer conditions for the weekend until that next storm system pushes into western Alaska. Again, that is going to happen once we get into Sunday. You do want to be prepared for high winds and heavy snow at that time. Now down into southeast, still seeing heavy rain tomorrow, not ending that just yet, uh, but you will see much calmer winds gusting still to 45 miles per hour in Ketchikan and 30 in Petersburg up to about 25 miles per hour in Juneau. Across the interior, again, seeing a break in some clouds there, but still seeing those strong winds up to 
the slope, again, this is where we're seeing very high winds, snow coming in, blowing snow uh, is going to be a main concern. Really difficult travel conditions in this part of the state again tonight and tomorrow. In Anchorage, again, we'll see chances for that light snow, a chance for a wintry mix for those of you in Girdwood. Uh, and that's going to be the case across uh, the valley as well. Again, watch out for temperatures below freezing overnight tonight uh, and then staying below freezing tomorrow as well. We will see drier conditions this weekend. High temperatures in the mid to upper 20s dropping to those teens and low 20s overnight. And then additional chances for snow on Monday and then especially as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. So uh, we're going to keep racking up those snowfall totals, but really looking forward to that weekend and hoping to get out and play in it perhaps. Well, that'd be nice. Playing would be fun on the snow, yes. not so much <laughs> shoveling. Thanks or driving. So, thanks yeah. so much.